You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, April 16th, 2021. I hope that you have been enjoying hearing all of these remarkable saint stories. I also hope that you have made some new friends in heaven, saints that you can learn about, but also ask for their intercession for the needs that you have in your life. Remember, these are real people in heaven willing to intercede for us. Before we close out this week, Meg Hunter Kilmer is back with one more story to inspire you to be a saint yourself. St. Albert Chmielowski from Poland lived from 1845 to 1916. His memorial is December 25th. St. Albert Chmielowski was full of surprises. When he was an 18-year-old soldier fighting for Polish independence and was shot in the leg, Enemy soldiers discovered Albert and told him his injured leg would have to be amputated with no medicine to take the pain away. They didn't expect him to be so brave, but Albert just said, give me a cigar, and he smoked that cigar to pass the time while they cut off his leg. After his amputation, they took him to a hospital. They should have known that Albert was no average teenager, but they sure didn't expect him to sneak out of their hospital in a coffin and escaped to Belgium. And when he got there, I bet nobody expected the tough-as-nails soldiers with a wooden leg to learn to paint. But that's just what Albert did, becoming a painter whose art was famous all over Europe. Eventually, he returned home and became friends with the most important artists and actors and writers in Poland. But Albert wasn't happy. Once, he was so sad, he even had to go to the hospital. The doctors helped him a lot, but Albert's life needed to change too. He had money and fame and friends, but he still felt empty. So he began searching for God's will, and soon he founded an order of Franciscan friars. Well, nobody expected that. If Albert had been surprising before, now he was shocking. To leave behind the amazing life he'd built for himself, a life envied by all of Poland? It didn't make sense. But Brother Albert had seen the suffering of the poor, and he couldn't ignore it. He sold his paintings and spent his life working to serve the poor with the people who joined him. And he became so holy that many years later, a young poet and playwright named Karl Wojtyla looked at Brother Albert's example and left behind the world of art to become a priest. He went on to be elected pope and canonized, St. John Paul II. St. Albert Chmielowski's life is a witness, not just to artists, but to everybody, that God can use every bit of us, that following the Lord will lead to a life full of wonderful surprises, and that life in Jesus is always, always more beautiful than without Him. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. You've just listened to a story from Saints Around the World, a new book featuring a hundred saint stories from nearly 70 different countries. My name is Meg Hunter-Kilmer, and I'm the author of this book, in which you'll read fascinating stories and see beautiful pictures of saints with all kinds of struggles and talents and passions and disabilities from every kind of family, from all different cultures. I hope that getting to know these saints will help you love Jesus better and know how very, very much He loves you. You can learn more about this book and audiobook at www.saintsaroundtheworld.com. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.